Now that the die is secure on the machine and the whole back clip is tightened down, we need to set up the roller assembly. In order to accomplish that, we need to remove the whole back clip and put a piece of pipe in place. Sometimes a pipe is oversized or has a coating and needs to be tapped into place in the die. If the pipe is oversized, the die will open up after a while and adjust to the pipe size. Now we need to put the whole back clip in place with the whole back clip pinned down through it. It's very important to make sure that the pin is down through the bottom plate. If it doesn't, it'll have a tendency to bend out. That's not desirable. Now we have to position the roller in the proper position. We place the shoe up against the pipe and we move the roller up to, but not touching the shoe, leaving approximately 1 16th of an inch clearance between the roller and the shoe. Once the roller is set and the gap is set, it's important to be able to go back to the same position. To accomplish that, it's handy to put a scribe line in the bending arm at the end of the slide so that you can find the same position each time you set up to bend this particular pipe size. Once the roller is in position, the nuts have to be tightened down. It's very important that these nuts are tightened down as tight as possible as they provide the primary strength for holding the roller in place. Very tight. 